Construction of the new maternity unit at the Georgetown Public Hospital was scheduled to commence in 2014. However, it commenced in February 2015, lasting for one year. The project was completed in July of 2016 by PD Contracting Company to an overall cost of $352 million. Employees began occupying the building shortly after, but were forced to vacate after numerous defects were found, including the faking of walls and flooring, non-functioning lights and locks. The contractor was made to correct the issues. In his address today, Chief Executive Officer of the hospital, retired Brigadier George Lewis, expressed hope that there will not be further issues with the building as he blasted contractors for not taking pride in their jobs. It is my hope that contractors take greater pride in the manner with, within which they perform their duties so that projects can be completed on time and without defects. They must also understand that time loss is equivalent to money loss and create serious inconvenience inconveniences to end users. The institution is hoping to improve the safety of mothers and children with the extension of the facility. Chair of the GPHC Cassandra Alves said that the neonatal unit of the facility is fully equipped to reduce deaths of premature babies while nurses are specially trained to take care of that vulnerable population. Head of the Obstetrics and Gynecology Program, Dr. Lucio Pedro, disclosed, however, that the unit will not put an end to the situation where four patients are being made to sleep on one bed. This part of the extension will cater for labor, labor and delivery suit, deliver six delivery rooms, two operation rooms, recovery room, the neonatal intensive care unit, family planning office, and training rooms for the residency program. This is the first part of the planned extension. We eagerly await the start and completion of the extension of prenatal wards and postnatal ward, where at the moment you may find four patients in one bed, two mothers and two neonatal. He added that one of the biggest challenges in the department is to decrease the instances of maternal and neonatal deaths. Dr. Artenisa Hamilton, who is the maternal and child health officer, revealed that the Inter-American Development Bank is on board to provide additional equipment and staff training. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.